So I'm um, new in the 360 booth um, business. So I just bought one um, a few months ago and I just did it two activities um, with other program, um, the touch picks. Touch picks, okay. But it was a mess. It was a mess that, you know, the, the videos were recording just eight or nine seconds and nothing else. And, you know, it's, it's, it was a mess. So I didn't, I didn't book any other activities till um, May that I have the whole month, all the weekends book out. So um, hearing your um, videos, I know that you have Snapic now and I, I was sewing the, the, the featurings and all, everything that they have. I would like to have a Snapic, but yeah. it seems like a little bit complicated yeah. to me. I'm not too technological. Yeah, but um, I I wanted to know um, you know your experience and then if you can help me out setting yeah. up you know my my first um, activity or a demo or something that I can you know um, register um, to Snapic and and you know start practicing from from probably tomorrow till yeah. the end of the month. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for the uh, let's go over the accounts. Uh, I think that's, uh -huh. that's also a really really good question. Yeah, and so I go with the enterprise account because the enterprise account, Vivian, is going to give us the video effects. Okay. Okay. And if if you want to stand out from your competition and really have high quality cool videos, then the video effects is definitely going to be something that helps you stand out. If you okay. were barely getting started and your budget was you know very 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 tight. I would say use a uh, Luma booth to start off with uh, mm -hmm. just because the quality is decent. It doesn't give you as many effects, of course, as Snapic, but it'll get you going. It'll get you some, you know, clients. And, but when you want to charge a good price, a premium price, then you want to use premium services like Snapic. So to answer your question, I would use the, uh, the enterprise and right. the video okay. effects. And since you have uh, a lot of uh, activities, a lot of events coming up in May, it's better for you to get the monthly mm -hmm. snapping versus the, the per event. It's better for you to get the monthly because you're going to have several events for the month. That way you play, yeah. you pay a, a flat rate. I also have that discount code that's going to give you 10% off your monthly subscription, if that helps. Okay. Yes, sure. Okay. So I'm going to go back right here. Um, don't, don't forget to send me the promo code. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, I promise. In all of my YouTube videos, Vivian, you're going to see that little promo code. So all you have to do is click on it. It takes okay. the link to sign up. You sign up and you have a seven day free trial as well. So you can explore, experiment. You know, what I'm going to be doing, Vivian, is I'm also going to make a video. Uh, I made one video already. It's about 45 minutes long. It's on YouTube. It okay. shows you how to set up the event, but I'm going to do it here for you really quick. But I want you to stop me and ask me questions as I'm moving forward. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go to create event. And we're going to do the new plane event right here. Okay. And this is a 360 booth event. So I'm going to choose the video effects because that's the one I want to use. If we had a photo booth station event, then we would use photo and GIFs. But we're going to use the video because we're using three. We're going to do 360 videos. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So I'm going to hit next right here. And if there's something you can't see, tell me, hey, David, I can't see your mouse. I can't see where you're clicking. Okay. So okay. I'm going to go to next right here. And then I'm going to call this uh, Vivian. Is it two V's or just one B? No, no I, that, that's it. Okay, Vivian's. Uh, Perez. Perez. Like that. And then we're going to start the event right now, the 25th of Tuesday, 1400 uh -huh. hours, which is here in California at 2 p.m. And okay. then we're going to end the date. We're going to end it uh, tomorrow around the same time. Uh, one thing about Snapic is you can leave an event open for like almost an entire week if you need to. Okay. Sometimes there'll be a situation, maybe you'll experience this, Vivian, where someone, a big company will want to have you for three days. They'll have like a three-day event. Uh, and and that's, that's good because now you're busy for three days during the week. Uh, but plus, what the cool thing is you can leave Snapic open for those three days if you're working that same event with the same overlay and stuff like that. Okay. So right here, it's going to reflect your time zone. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm going to hit next right here. This over here on the left, it's not a big deal. As long as you have the event name. So you can distinguish 
which one you're going to open. So we're calling this one, this one, Vivian Perez. Uh, so gonna... let me let me ask you something. Can yep. I set up all my events at, at once? Yep. And then preview because, you know, with with the touch pick, it was a mess. Uh -uh, I, I cannot do that. Okay, got it. So let me go ahead and close these windows here. And let me go ahead and bring, I want to bring, how do I bring you over to my other page here? Okay. Right here. Okay. So next, right here. So event options. So when, when we're at the event already, Vivian, and we're ready to, to start off the night, this is telling us the options on how we're going to get the video into the client's or the attendee's hand. So we're going to use the QR, we're going to use the airdrop feature, and we're going to use a text message. I like uh -huh. using these three. Email is going to take way too long to punch in all the characters, so that's a waste of time. Uh, AirDrop is the fastest because if they have an iPhone and you have your iPhone 13 or you have an iPad, the AirDrop, they'll get it in two seconds. Two seconds, that, that's how fast. QR, uh, uh, QR code is going to be for your Android users, okay? Mm -hmm. And if it's, if it's someone that has like a, a, a Obama phone, like a flip yeah. phone, you can Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You could just do the, the text messaging if you need to. So I just have it just in case, okay? And that's what I yeah. use. For the admin password, just come up with anything that you want. I'm just going to put a bunch of twos for the admin password. And then I'm going to hit next. This right here, there's a lot of words. And all this stuff looks intimidating. But quite honestly, none of it really truly matters. So all you're going to have to do is just hit next right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you have an iPad sharing station, for example. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you can click on I, uh, sharing station and you can make an overlay for your iPad to fit the event, right? So do you want to do that together? Like you want me to go on Canva and make a, an overlay for the iPad for you? So you can kind of see how that goes? Yes, please. Yeah, okay. So we'll do that. Now, tell me a little bit about your upcoming event so we can start thinking of an overlay for your iPad. Yeah, I and, and I have Canva also, so I have Canva Premium, so um, I can do it too. I have uh, a 60 years old um, happy birthday. Okay. I have a wedding. Okay. I have two proms, a Ooh. eighth grade proms. Okay. And I have also a, a baby shower. Wow, that sounds like a good time. Okay, so yeah. one of the things we want to check out is now when you have your iPad sharing station, you can either place it this way or you could place it this way, like portrait or vertical. Uh -huh. right? I like using ver uh, vertical, not vertical, horizontal. Okay. This is my style, right? And then for the recommended sizes, if you go to recommended sizes right here, it'll tell you, okay, if, you're, uh, if your iPad image size is a, if your iPad is a 9.7, then this is what they recommend. Do you know what iPad you own? Vivian? Um, it is an iPad 9, I think it is. iPad, iPad 9. 9 or 10, I don't know. Let see. <laughs> Let's figure that out, 9th gen. I just want to see the screen size on the iPad 9th gen. Yeah. It is, let me see, size. It's a 10.2. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a good size, it's a 10.2. Okay, so we're going to go uh -huh. here and and, and there's no exact 10.2, so I'm going to use 10.5. Mm -hmm. okay. And so I'm, we're going to go and open up Canva now. I'm going to open up Canva. We're going to go, uh, see, this is what I like doing. So now I can get YouTube thumbnails, but then I can resize it, right? Mm -hmm. so we can go to all templates, right? And then on the very top up here, I can click baby shower uh-huh baby shower it is a boy uh-huh boy so uh and we can even probably add boy to see if it gives us uh, a more filtered yeah it does there's more blue here mm -hmm. so what i'll do is i'm going to grab this right here and i'm going to go to customize this template and before i do anything here what i want to do is i want to resize it to match the the, the dimensions for a 10.5 which is 248 by 1536. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to go to 
pixels. And the size is 248 by 1536 resize. So now here's the size of, of the iPad, right? So now we could just move start, we could just start moving things around. All this mm -hmm. we can move around. I'm not gonna spend too much time right this right here because this is something that you're probably already familiar with. But once yeah. you have like the baby shower right here, the next thing I'm gonna do is I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and download it like this. Download. Oh, by the way, you can also have for the sharing station, it doesn't really matter, but when you have a digital booth, there's a way you can have animations on, on the digital oh. photo booth. But because it's a sharing station, we'll keep it simple. So we're gonna hit download and it's gonna download for us. We're gonna go ahead and let that download for a few seconds. And then we're gonna go ahead and use it for our uh, sharing station right here, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna move our video. So right here, it's gonna be an upload still a track screen, right? I'm gonna go to upload. And our screen is gonna be under downloads right there. Okay. And now it's, it's loading up for us. And all this, all these steps that we're covering together, Vivian, I'm recording it right now so that later on, you can always use this video uh, to come back. Uh, and oh, as you can see, you. yeah, as yeah. you can see, our, our the background is right in here. Oh, this yeah. Right here, and you can see it right here. It looks nicer in person uh, because these photos are in the way right now. Mm -hmm. Now we can hit next. I'm going to hit next. This is just for the QR. We don't want to change anything. We just want to hit next. Okay. Okay, and that's now, just for the for the iPad for the sharing station. That was for the iPad sharing station, the overlay we just did, and now we get to choose our template and overlay for the 360 booth for the iPhone. Oh, computer, okay. Right? So now it says okay. video template chooser. We're gonna go to library right here, and as you can see right here on the top, it says 360 booth DSLR photo booth. I don't see the GoPro yet. So I don't think the book oh. has been released yet. Uh, in the photo ex photo booth expo they had early this year, they said that soon they were going to have the GoPro available, and that's going to be pretty cool because you already have a GoPro, so you don't need to buy yes, one. Have exactly. One. But right now, just to make life easier and everything smoother, and so you don't spend more money, and you already have an iPhone 13, that's a perfect phone. Next yeah, thing okay. I can I can use in mine. Yes, no yeah. problem. Let's go to 360 booth right here. And now we have so many different selections of videos that we want to use, right? So for example, say I want to use, um, let's see, this one. This is one of the ones that I want to use. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And now in this next window right here, it tells me, do you want to use a square, landscape, or portrait? Well, we both know that right now the most popular one is the portrait. It's the portrait one, like one yes. Yeah. So the, the dimensions 1080 by 1920. So when you go back to Canva and you wanna make uh, an another, an another overlay for the phone, you can do something like this. The only, the only thing you would now change it to is uh, 1080 by 1920 here. 1080. And then we're gonna go to resize that. Nope. Messed up the size. There we go. Mm -hmm. And this, these are just a bunch of clouds. Uh, let's see, what can I do? Can make that's uh, too much. So let me do this. Let me just. Let me close this here. This and this go here. Blue clouds. I'm just giving you a very quick. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time designing. I want to make sure I give you the concept. So put a cloud right there. Put a cloud right here. Cloud right there. Just put some birds right here, and then. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and just there you go. Just just for the video, okay? We're just we're just we're just trying to go as fast as possible here. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and download that one. But this time, when I download it, I'm going to go to transparent background. I want to be transparent and download. And what I'm going to do lately on Canva, it, it won't download because it's the same file. So I'm just going to go here. And now it's downloading. So it's going to be right over here. All right, let's go over back to, let's go into our overlay. So we selected the portrait size. We have the portrait size. Now we're going to go ahead and drop in our overlay we created on Canva. And it's right here. It loads up for us rather quickly. And it's right in here now. Okay. Very, very important something that i really like about snapic it's going to offer you the 20 to 30 frames per second or 40 to 60 frames per second i love 40 to 60 frames per second because on an iphone 13 it's going to capture really smooth buttery uh footage but it's going to look very high resolution and okay. very because it's a higher frame rate so there's you don't lose too too much uh data because you have a lot of frames per second when you're showing the video so that's what I select. I go with smooth. You can practice with both because you can change it any time. But this mm -hmm. is the one that I like here, Vivian, 40 to 60 frames per second. Now we're going to go to the recording section right here in the middle. And for my countdown, I always move it up to five seconds. Now, earlier you said a frustrate, one of the most frustrating things that I experienced with TouchPix is what you experienced, and that is I would make the video as long as possible, but when I go to record, it would only be like 14 seconds long. Uh huh. Yeah. And it's not supposed to be 14 seconds long because I made those changes before I set up the event. So why wouldn't it work? So I had to troubleshoot. I had to make duplicate events to see which one was going to work in case one wasn't working. There's just a lot of things going on. And I know TouchPix was trying to fix it, but I just, I had to move. I, I couldn't rely just on one software. So I, I experimented with Luma Booth and I experimented with Snapic. Now here we are here with Snapic and it works really well. Yeah. All yeah. Right. So with the recording duration, now this means that the phone is going to record for 10 seconds. This doesn't mean that the video is only going to be 10 seconds long. It just yeah. means that the phone's going to be recording for 10 seconds and the video is going to be longer because there's slow-mo put into it. There's a boomerang and there's speed ramps in it, right? But this for me is a sweet spot, 10 seconds. You can change it if you want, but 10 seconds is what I like using. So okay. leave it at 10 seconds and then I'm gonna go to the timeline. All right, timeline is very, very interesting. So here, here's the timeline. And right here on this timeline, it shows that the video as is right now with us, without us changing anything, the video is gonna be almost 30 seconds long. Mm, okay. I think that's good. I, it's all, it's on the longer side, but still good. Much better than a 14 second video. Mm -hmm. So 29 seconds, right? 29.5 to be exact. And then right here in the bottom, it, it shows us that this section is two seconds long. And this section has no effects. And then I'm going to move to the second section. It has no effects. This section has no effects. What I mean by section is on Snapic, Vivian, you can really personalize it so that throughout the video, throughout those 10 seconds, you can have an effect in between from those 10 seconds of recording time. And these right here, all these little squares, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These eight right here equal the 10 seconds of recording time, but with the effects, it's an output total of 29.5. Okay. For example, this one, number eight, is 20 seconds long, but it's because it's doing the reverse playback. Oh, okay. It's playing back all these other, all these first recordings, it's playing it back at this speed, which is a quarter. Now I can, now I can change this if I want, and I can change it like this. So it's 20 seconds for now. But if I wanted to do a playback, from zero to four seconds instead. Then if we go up here, now it's 25.5 because no. it's, gonna, it's gonna do less of a playback. And then the speed is gonna be really slow. Now, if we want a, a fast playback instead of slow or normal speed, you're gonna see that when we go back up here, now it's only 
because it's playing it back much faster, not in slow motion. Now it's only equals four seconds. So that's something mm -hmm. else that you can experiment to. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it to the let's let's have it at a quarter because I think that 25.5 is a really good spot. Mm -hmm. Another thing, too, um, if you don't have, for example, fog machines yet, if you don't have laser lights, if you don't have any atmosphere effects, you can use some of the effects that are built in here on Snapic. And the way you would do that is you would come over to build a custom effect, add effect, and we're going to go do an overlay effect. And then we're going to go into uh, this little uh, library. So right here, okay. it gives you different effects. Like I can even use this effect right here with these little uh, bokeh uh, globes. Or you can do flames. There's money. Uh, there's smoke. There's confetti. There's many, many different effects that you can add just for those two seconds. Uh, I think this one, the disco light, this one looks pretty cool. Um, the fallen money too. We can use fallen money. Just in case you don't have a money gun, you can use this fallen money right here. In fact, let's yes, go ahead. I, I do have the money gun. I do have the, the lasers, uh, but I, I haven't used it, so. Okay. Well, if you end up at an, a venue where, where they don't allow fog machines, because sometimes mm -hmm. you end up at a venue where they don't allow fog, you can always use like smoke or fog bottom here from, from these videos. One mm. thing that I like is flash shutter. So all I have to do now is just add that and hit save right here. And add save. Go to the this one right here, the third one. We can add another effect. And we can do, let's see. We can do a beautiful beauty beautify one. That's gonna make their face look more beautiful because it's gonna be more of a like a like a, what do you call it? Like glam filter. Uh-huh, uh okay. And we could change the intensity. I'm gonna leave it like that by default. And I'm just gonna leave it so, so we can see the playback together. So now this is done. I don't wanna do anything more to it. And mm -hmm. we can go to now what's called a preview timeline. So when we go to preview timeline, we're gonna go to the 360 booth. And with what Snapic is doing now is it's gonna show us a preview of how our video is going to look like with the effects that we've added and the duration of the video. So that's what it's doing right now. It's processing our settings and it's gonna give us a visual of how it looks so that we don't have to go to the 360 booth, put our phone on, record, and check out, see how it's gonna look. Even though I still do it, this can save you time if you don't have your equipment next to you. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Yeah, so it, it's in beta. So they're still trying it out and getting feedback from us. And so we're gonna see right now how that 25.5 second video is gonna look like and this is the phone recording again for 10 seconds. So just give it a few more seconds, see Vivian? Yeah. Let's see how it uh, looks. Okay, so here's our, here's our overlay with the birds and the clouds and the baby shower, yeah. I'm gonna hit play. That's how it would look, and then it speeds up. Thing on this guy, I can't really see the beauty filter because it's not me. I don't know his face, how it looks with and without it, right? So some of it is slow, and there's moments where it's sped up a little bit. And it's, like I said, 25 seconds. So hit play again. Slow, speeds up right there, slows down, speeds up. That is when your video looks good. When it goes fast, slow, slow, fast, like that. It makes it more unpredictable, and I think it's more entertaining to watch to to then just watch a, the same speed and then and then uh, reverse. I like it when there's speed ramps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now you can apply this. The only thing that I'm missing here that I didn't see that we added on number one right here was the shutter, the flash of the camera, right? So I'm gonna go on here. I'm gonna see what happened. I'm gonna hit. Three point save. Give you timeline. And it's loading much faster because it already has some of those uh, settings saved right now. Okay. This is what I, one thing I noticed of Vivian is for the camera shutter, 
when it's when it's showing it here, sometimes it won't show it on here. But when you go and record it on your phone, then you'll see the flash shutter or the flames or the confetti. Okay. So let's okay. give it one more shot, and then we'll move on to the next thing, and then we'll go and check the iPad sharing station. I know I have a. Let me go grab my iPad so I can show you how that looks. Okay. Okay. Let's see if it shows. Yeah, it's not showing me the shutter, the flash here on this preview. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to save right over here. Okay. Now we have one template. But if you want to have multiple templates, right? Say, for example, you said, David, but... I want to I want to have more going on for my event so I can have options. That's something that you can do. You just go back to the library. And now you can do something like for example this one. You can add that one as well. If you want to stick to the 360 booth ones that are known, you can do uh, the character reveal. The character reveal is really fun. It does that. Right there. Ah. So if I click on that one, Because I do have backdrop also. The backdrops work really well for the digital photo booth, Vivian. The 360 booth is spinning. So uh -huh. the, the back, you only see it for one or two seconds. Uh, that's why sometimes if you use like lights and fog, you want to make uh -huh. sure that it captures a really good moment where the lights are looking really nice in the background with the fog. Mm. And you'll get, you'll get an idea when you start the event. Now I'm going to remove... Um, the soundtrack there, I don't want music because I want the client, when they upload it, I want them to select their own song on Instagram, TikTok, or Reels. But we're gonna go with portrait again. Mm -hmm. and we're gonna go with our the same overlay, with the same overlay, and we'll leave the frames, uh, 60 frames per second, the same, okay? So you're telling me that we don't have to add music to the video because anyways, they're, yeah, they're you, gonna- You don't wanna add happen. music? Because if you add the music into the video and then they upload the video with the music, then they're saying, hey, you don't own this song. So we don't know what the video consists of, but you don't have rights to this song. So we're going to upload your video on our platform, but we're going to mute the audio. And that happens, either they mute the audio or it says this video will not play in certain areas of in certain countries. Because you and I, we don't have copyrights to that song. Okay, okay. So it makes our life easier. Uh, it makes our life easier because we can just have the client, you know, have the video with the effects, and then when they upload it, they can select whatever song they want for that video. So that means that everyone at the event will have their personal video, and they can, up they can upload it using whatever song they want as an individual. Okay, okay. That way you don't have to sit and try to convert the song to a wave to MP3 to uploading and then later on getting a text message from your client or an email saying hey when we upload our videos it's saying something about the audio and it's like that you don't want to deal with that headache so it's better just to go this route and make make it smooth uh, and simple now yeah i'm going to go to the recording right here and these are two parts one is going to say be the myth and one's going to be the legend this one i'm going to leave it as is yeah i'm going to leave it as is because these default settings are nice for that specific one and for the timeline earlier, when you and I were spending time here, this is this is a very unique uh, uh, template. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna go to save. So now we have these two for our event. Perfect. I'm gonna go to next. And then I'm gonna go to create an event because now we're ready. Go to create the event. Okay. okay. Success. Success. This is what I'm gonna do next. Okay. I'm going to. Go ahead and share my screen with you on my iPhone 13 and show you how Snapic looks on our end, okay? Okay. All right, give me one second here. Let me let more light in. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna share. 
I'm going to show you the iPad as well too. I want I want to show you how that looks like. And I'm going to share my other screen. I'm going to share my iPhone screen with you now. Okay, here we go. Let me find it. All right. Let's go ahead and open up Snap It. There. So here's our live event, Vivian. I'm going to go ahead and select that one. I'm going to hit select. The next menu looks like this. Oh, okay. On your phone, Vivian, where you go to uh, configure camera, we're going to go to back camera. We're going to use the back camera right here for our iPhone 13, this back camera. Okay. Okay. And then from there, uh, we're going to go to start photo booth. Okay. It's loading up our event resources. Okay. So. This is a. Uh, this is how it looks now, right? And the next mm -hmm. thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to stabilization right here. Stabilization. And you want to go either with cinematic, or cinematic extended. This is going to help with the shakiness, the how mm -hmm. the, the booth wobbles sometimes because of the momentum of people uh, moving. It goes like this. I like having it at cinematic, so I'm going to switch to cinematic. And then I'm going to start booth right here. And then I'm going to go to video right here. And now I, ha I have those options, the character reveal, and I also have the, the one that we worked on together, changing a little bit, right? Now let's go ahead and come back to this. Right now I'm going to disconnect it because now we're going to go to the iPad sharing station. Okay, so let me show you something here. So say, for example, this is your iPad sharing station, okay? Okay. On the iPad sharing station, I'm going to open up Snapic. And then where it says live, I'm going to select Vivian. But now, instead of putting start photo booth, I'm going to go to sharing station. Right there. You see it? Yes. Okay, sharing station. Okay, so now it's set up as a sharing station. And you can see our little template there, right? The overlay that we made earlier. Uh-huh. Right? And it's, it's, it's like this because it's in the background and the videos are gonna be, the video here, the videos are gonna be placed right here when we record a video. Okay, let's go back to Snapic. And we'll do the character review. You know what? Let's do the, this one here. Tap to record. And remember, it's going to record for 10 seconds. So let's go ahead. It starts recording. You see the progress bar right here? That uh -huh. shows how much time is left. I'm just going to go like this to see if my hand slows down when we do the playback. Okay, now it's rendering the video. Remember, this is a 25.5 uh, length video when it comes to seconds and this is the speed that you can expect from getting a video that ranges from 40 to 60 frames per second so i want to show everyone that if, if we make this video public i want to show people that it's pretty fast it's rendering the video really fast and it's done okay so that's me right there i'm speeding up slow down and i'm starting to notice that the shutter is still not showing like the flash of the camera But you can see how rich the quality is. Can you see it from here? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, exactly. oh, this is the beauty. Oh, you missed it. There's the, the beauty came right now because all my imperfections went away right now. I didn't know if you caught it, but there was a the beauty filter was in, kicked in right now. But the beauty filter was only good for two seconds. You can have it okay. throughout the whole event. So everyone feels beautiful, extra beautiful, <laughs> but, but, but it's, it's up to you. Okay. So now, okay. 
I'm going to go to tap to finish because either I can text it, airdrop it, or have the QR code. If I have the QR code, then they'll scan that. Mm -hmm. If it's airdrop, I'll hit airdrop and then hit the airdrop right here and then select it to the to whoever, whatever person uh, I need to send it to. Mm -hmm. uh, re remind the people to turn on their airdrop and make sure that the airdrop is able to accept from everyone. This is uh so for example, if they have their phone, come to go to airdrop right here. Mm -hmm. Open it. See how it says contacts only. You want to make sure it says from everyone like this. So they can get it from the iPad training station or from your iPhone. Okay. The baby shower. Oh, and the 50th party and the rest of the events you have coming up. All right. So uh, once that is complete, I'm going to tap to finish. Okay. And now people are going to walk over to the iPad, right? IPad exactly. IPad to sharing get... station. Uh -huh. People come to the iPad sharing station and the video, boom, <clears> right there. <throat> So now the video is on the iPad sharing station and they can do the text, airdrop, or QR code. Uh, and then I'm just going to tap to finish. And as we make more videos throughout the night, all the videos are going to pop up right here. Okay. Yeah. And that right there is snap it for you, Vivian. Okay. So that, that's the program that you recommend. Actually, you know, oh, it's different. This, so perfect. Let me ask you this. Just from getting a visual... Uh, of how it functions, what did you think just seeing it in action for the first time? Like, I want to get some no, feedback. Actually, yeah, it, it looks better, actually. Yeah, it's different. And the, right? fact, and the fact that you can do the preview and the fact that you can do um, like all the multiple um, templates, um, events at the same time, and then, you know, leave it like there, because in TouchPick, it was difficult. Different now. You have to close one and then and open uh, open the other one and all that stuff. Yeah, that's uh that's another cool thing. Now the next thing I really want to start diving into with Snapic is for everyone that shares their information. Like say for example, you text message these people their video. You're gonna have access to the analytics, and you're gonna have access to their phone number on Snapic. So what I'm thinking is, how cool would it be, Vivian, if later on you and I as business owners can send a email promo to either the emails or all the phone numbers to the people that were there, giving them a special promo code because they're there. They got to experience it already. And maybe they have an event coming up or they know someone's birthday's coming up or someone who has a party that might benefit from our, our services. And it allows us to text message them a, a promo code. So this will be a good way for us to continue marketing to our existing clients in a way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that that's um, something to consider. Yeah. Yeah. What well, one of my question was the GoPro, but uh, I crossed that the program, the overlays in Canva. So I I have been using that. I have been using Canva. Yes. I don't have a website and nothing like that, so I'm just starting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's so interesting. You have four events coming up and no website. That's powerful. Uh, yeah, because you know the I put some um, promo in the Facebook and the activities that I did in in January, they booked me about three or four people from those activities. Even though the their their you know their video were not so good. Sí. Yeah. Muchas, muchas bendiciones, Vivian. You know, it's like uh, sometimes you're at the right place at the right time, and I tell people, hey. Every event that you have is going to be that, it's going to take that one event to just, you get lots of success, a lot of momentum, because that leads to one thing that leads to another. And now all of a sudden you're very busy every single weekend. Exactly. And then let me ask you something um, yeah. with, with the Snappy program, um, because I have like the red carpet and I have the extension and I have the backdrop and all those stuff. Um, can I still use it or what do you recommend me? If you have the stanchions and you have the red carpet, I recommend you already invested in it. Use it for almost every event and make sure that at the event, when you have your assistant with you, make sure they take a lot of videos and pictures, videos in portrait mode and videos in landscape mode, 
because your presentation is also something that you can market on Facebook and Instagram. So if you have a beautiful presentation, make sure you present that every event. So people not only see a 360 booth, but they see a full presentation, an atmosphere that you were able to provide as part of your service. So people know that when they book with Vivian, they're not just booking a standard 360 booth. They're booking an, a whole entire atmosphere for their event, which is okay. a good idea to bring the red carpet because everyone in their life wants to walk a red carpet. Yes, exactly. But if they have stanchions, if you have stanchions, then they feel also it's, it's a professional look. It's a safety look. It's a safe look. And it helps us to deter little kids from running into the booth when they get uh -huh. excited. They see the bubble guns. Um, and it, it, like I said, you already invested in it. Might as well use it because it's part of your presentation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And actually, I have one in uh, uh, one of the, of the prompts that I have from the eighth grade. It, it is in a pool party. Yeah. So it is... Party. It is be, be careful with the pool party. Be cautious. I've, I've had events where it's in the backyard and they have a pool in the backyard. Uh, and I, I tell, I tell uh, my, my attendees, you know, I don't want to sound like a, like a bad cop or being too strict, but I don't like them getting on the booth barefoot. Uh -huh. okay. I prefer to get, if they're going to get on there with chanclas, that's okay. Uh, but because I want them to have good friction, I don't want them to slip on the 360 booth. So if it's going to be by a pool, just uh, you, want, you might want to take some towels to wipe it down because they might get on and their swimming trunks or their bathing suits might still have water and it falls on the okay. booth. You want to make sure you wipe the booth uh, as needed, right? Okay, okay, yeah. And then um, what else do you recommend me? So you already have your booth, you have your stanchions, you have your red carpet, you have yep. props. Uh, all you really need now is your form of transportation. You have every, you can fix everything in your SUV or van. Yes, I have a wrap four. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, okay. That's perfect. Uh, yeah. I would say the next big step for you would be to create a very effective SEO powerful website. Okay. Because I know people who get a good amount of bookings through just Instagram and there's other people who do uh, Facebook marketing. And then I have people that I got very lucky and they just get one event from an event to another event, all just from them being there providing that service. Right. But I think it's important for you to give yourself or give your business the most online presence. And that's going to be through a Google profile. So if you don't have a Google profile, Oh, no. Yeah. The Google business profile is definitely going to be a big deal, Vivian. So cuando tenga la oportunidad, eh, le recomiendo the profile uh, for your business on Google 100% because it's free and it's more powerful than an actual website. It's more powerful than a website because it allows you to get leads for free. People call you, people message you for free. Google's providing that for you for free, that profile. So you have to take advantage of it load up those videos, load up those pictures onto your Google profile so it can look more attractive and people can start calling you. Hmm, okay. Yeah, well, actually, you know, I have a, another business. I have, I am a consultant in an HR consultant. Yeah. So I am a business consultant. That, that's my primary, um, my primary business. Beautiful. And I bought the 360 for my, for my sons. Uh, one is 20 and the other one is 24, but they are working um, in the meantime, they're in, in the university. So um, I'm going with them, you know, to, to start the business with them. So this is a side business for us. But, you know, I have all, all the, almost um, all the weekends uh, in May and, and June also. I have two or three weekends in June already booked. Last, last year, uh, I mean, a lot of people don't, don't like sharing how much money they made. It's, they keep it very private. But for me last year, I did this business part-time and I made over $36,000 as this is as a part-time business. Wow. It, th this can easily become an actual business and not just a side, side gig, side hustle. It's, yeah, exactly. So if, uh, if, um, if you already booked right in May four events without a lot of business exposure, 
just imagine uh-huh. what's going to happen when you guys really get into it and start putting in more energy and investing your time into it. I think this could be a full blown business and you guys can start making it, you know, it can make you over a hundred thousand dollars a year. Uh, and it's fun too. So yeah, I think the, the possibilities for you are great. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. But I'm, I'm going to explore all the business, the, the Google business profile and all that stuff because I haven't. So I, I don't know. Um, and, and it is right. I have to advertise uh, advertise um, the, the 360 because the, there's a lot of 360 over, over here in Puerto Rico and the price range are different from the states for the yes. price range are probably about, well, I charge $200 per hour anyways. That's good. So uh, I just put uh, two hours minimum, $400. Uh, mm-hmm. And then if I put it some like fog machine and all that stuff, I, I charge for $50, $500. Okay. And then if, um, for example, it is a town far, far away from where I am, I charge the transportation fee like $50, $75. Okay. Also. Yeah. So w- once you start, like I said, once you start getting a lot of inquiries, you're also going to start filtering uh, ways to capitalize on every inquiry and opportunity. Like you said, you know, 200, two hours, if they want this 450, try. So it, it's going to get to a point where you're going to be able to collect so much data that you'll have very simple options for your future prospects. So yeah, continue, continue to just focus on that industry and mm-hmm. get it to a point where it's very efficient and you can get your, your second 360 booth, right? And after that, maybe a digital photo booth. Uh, and all of a sudden, your two sons could be making, an, uh, living a, a comfortable lifestyle, partying. Exactly, exactly. Well, my, my oldest, my oldest um, graduation is now in um, May. He graduates from administration, business administration, but he also has a diploma of a bartender. So he's a bartender and as he works in a hotel in San Juan, so he makes probably more than a thousand dollars a week. Bartender makes a lot of money. Exactly. And he said, well, you know, it's, it's, that's the way, that's why he doesn't want to move to the 360 because he said, well, I'm making more money at my, at my job in the hotel. But I have the other one that um, is just working in the restaurant like a host Mm -hmm. and it's a minimum wage. And I say, well, you know, just just be there because on May you're going to make probably more money than you're making in three months. Something like that. So I hope I hope that, you know, the one that's working at a restaurant can really start, you know, setting up appointments and dealing with clients uh, on his own. How old is he? Twenty. 20 years old. So that's a good he age. He's becoming a 21 this year in, in October. Yeah, that's that's a really good age to be an entrepreneur. I think the earlier, the better. Uh, but because he has people skills already working at a restaurant, it's going to help him. And then for the other brother who does that administration, uh, you know, when you're not around, he can always help the younger brother with the administration portion of the business. So it, it could be a, a, it could grow into a business just with people helping each other out, you know, and um. That's really cool. I, I like the fact that you, you gave them, you, you invested in them is basically what you did. Yes. So that's awesome. I wish uh, my daughter, she's going to be 18. Uh, are we in May yet? No, we're in April, right? Uh, April. She's, she's going to be 18 in May, but she, she doesn't like, she doesn't see the opportunity and I can't change her point of view. I could just give her information and she can analyze it. But at that age, you can't really push them anymore. It's just, you can't force them. But hey, you can tell you can tell you can tell her now. Hey, look that lady at fifty years old working, you know, at three sixty booth of business with his son, and you know, I think that's a, it's a great opportunity. I, t- you know? I, t- I tell her, and then she said that her friends want to work for me, <laughs> and I tell her like, well, wouldn't you like to be your friend's boss? You know, uh-huh. and she's like, ah, but you know. I don't know. I'm just going to give it some time. I'm going to let her live her young adulthood and then let her reflect on life and she'll know like, Hey, my dad is, he likes the business portion. Maybe, maybe I don't want to work for someone. Maybe I want to go work for a family business and make it my own business. So we'll see. But, um, 
it's it's just uh, we have to be patient as parents but at the same time provide our children with like the right tools and resources yeah that that's what i'm doing you know and that that's my that's my goal you know provide them with the right tools so they can make their life yeah. you know and then if they want to still live in the life that they're living now <laughs> so they have to work with <laughs> right, right you know all the opportunities so it's a great opportunity. I think that your son is turning 21 soon. This is an excellent opportunity. I've had other people uh, that I met up with that have the same aspirations for their younger uh, sons and daughters, and they start the business for them. And so I think it's a really simple business to get started. And sometimes simple works well, especially when you add creativity to it and innovate it a little bit. Kind yeah, yeah. Another thing I'm going to do, uh, I want to do, Vivian, is either text message me or email me all of your business contact information for the 360 booth. Okay. I'm going to make a promo video and put it on YouTube with all of your information in the description. And it's going to be like a 35 second, 60 second video. Uh, and then it's going to be titled uh, 360 photo booth rental. And then the city that you that you are in, in Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. So, so if you can send me the city, like the biggest city that's close by to you that has the largest population. Mm -hmm. That way I can use that city in the title. So when people look for the 360 photo booth with their city, that's the city you're going to give me, uh, our video pops up. And when they click on the video, it takes it to the description where all of your information is going to be in so they can contact you, start booking. Oh yeah, sure. Of course. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. So yeah, it, either text message me or email me that information. Once you email it to me or, or text it to me, I'll confirm that I received it and then I'll send you the link. Speaking of links, um, this video was very clear and it, it was very, it was, it was, uh, it was step by step. I really liked how you asked the questions and how uh, I was able to just show you all the visuals. Do you want to make this video private or do you want to share this entire session with the entire world? Like make it, make it public. It's up to you because it's your video. No, no, I don't have any problem, man. Make it public. Yeah, make it public. Thank yeah, you. Sure. Thank you for sharing. Uh, thank you for sharing this video, uh, Vivian. I, I'm sure some people are gonna find it very helpful. Yeah, especially when you are starting a business like that. That's very, very true. Uh, other than that, Vivian, what else can I answer for you? Because we're coming up in our hour already. Uh, yes. I, I feel like you might have a question or two left over that I want to make sure I get through. No, actually, actually, no because I have my, my questions answered already. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, perfecto. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I, I'm a really huge fan of, of your videos and everything. So I've just, you know, subscribe and, you know, and, and have there and I, I'm being seeing you. So that's why I, you know, decided to, to book the time with you. So thank you. Thank you, Vivian. Much appreciated. <laughs>